Hey folks, this is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. 2022 is obviously over. What I wanted to do was was to share with you my top 10 picks for 2022. Uh, What I thought were some of the top 10 books of 2022 and encourage you to, to get those books. They're still quite relevant. It got some powerful stories and, and information in each one of them. And uh, I would strongly encourage you to make it a point to really to get them all. But if you can't get them all, at least get one or two and, and, and read them. The first one I'm going to talk about is White House Red. That was by Trevor Loudon, L-O-U-D-O-N. He's on YouTube. He also has a uh, Facebook page and I think a website as well. So check out Trevor Loud and White House Reds. Now, as many of you know, I'm a former Marxist. I was very active in different socialist organizations um, around the country, socialist activities around the country. And I even worked at one time for a a Marxist uh, newspaper in Manhattan. So when I read White House Reds, um, I was astounded at its accuracy. It... I mean, Trevor Loudon just did an amazing job. He's just done an amazing job. And you want to talk about a guy who's a researcher and who's able to put things together. I mean, this is the guy. Trevor Loudon, White House Reds. You want to get that book. And after you've read that book, then you get back in touch with me and then you sit there and tell me that you're not concerned about the cultural Marxist and and socialist influence that... that, uh, exists within the Democratic Party. White House Reds by Trevor Loudon. That was one of the best books released in 2022. Second one is Dark Agenda by David Horowitz. Uh, David Horowitz, he has an interesting story, um, very interesting story. But he's a white American. He's a white Jewish American, um, tremendous scholar, intellectual. In the his in his early years, he was very much involved with the Black Panther Party. This guy can just sit down and talk to you about the Black Panther Party like, you know, it's almost as if he was a member of the party. He knew Huey Newton, Bobby Seale. I mean, he worked with these guys. He spent time with these guys. He didn't research them. He worked with them. He knew these guys. He spent time with these guys. He raised money for these guys. And it's interesting what, why he broke with them. Um, You should hear why he broke with them. But he put out, he's put, it seems like David Horowitz is putting out a book every other month. This guy's amazing. You want to talk about somebody being prolific. He's just utterly amazing. But the book he put out in 2022, um, Dark Agenda, you definitely want to get that. It's very interesting. He's a Jewish American, and yet he um, talks about how important um, it is that we battle against the forces within the United States that are trying to uh, tackle the Christian foundations, uh, America's Christian foundations. It's fascinating. I've done uh, several interviews of him. And um, uh, let me see now. You can find them on YouTube. You put in David Horowitz, uh, David Horowitz and Corbin Seavers, or David Horowitz and Book Talk with Corbin. Good interviews. Really want to encourage you to get them, but definitely want to encourage you to get this book, Dark Agenda. As a matter of fact, if you uh, send $25 uh, to me, you go to my website, Book Talk with Corbin, and you find an address there, and you send us $25, we'll send you a copy of this book um, as a gift. Dark Agenda, you need to get it. If you're an evangelical Christian, you better get it. That's all I got to say. Third book, and we're going to end uh, this podcast with this third one, I Am Pitts by Dexter Pitts. In my my view, I Am Pitts should be in the same company with Up From Slavery and From Rage to Responsibility. Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington and the book From Rage to Responsibility by Jesse Peterson. Very powerful story. Uh, He's a local guy. I've interviewed him several times. You need to check him out. Uh, you need to get this book on Pitts. Um, David Horowitz read it, and 
when David Horowitz read it, he ins- he contacted me and said, "I've got to be in touch with Dave with uh, Dexter Pitts." And I means like it was like an order from the general. I got to be in touch with this brother, and I put those two together, and uh, that's really saying something when someone of David Horowitz's credibility and, and intellect, and scholarship. And he says, I got to be, in, after reading I Am Pitts, I got to be in touch with this guy. Put me in touch with him now. That's saying something. Um, so one of the best books I, I definitely put up there is I Am Pitts by Dexter Pitts. So those are three. I promised you ten. I'm going to give you the other um, seven later. But I just wanted to put that out out there first. This is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. I have a Facebook page, Book Talk with Corbin, Book Talk with Corbin Seavers, two, two different ones. And uh, also the website, booktalkwithcorbin.com.